All right, so the next piece I have is what's called analysis cubes. These can be created inside of Dynamics GP or they can actually be created in Excel. So uh, this leverages uh, a data warehouse. It's using analysis services. And this actually is a situation where we can schedule data to be refreshed in the data warehouse from Dynamics GP so that when you're actually creating the report, you're pulling the data out of a, a data warehouse separate from Dynamics GP. Uh, so it really doesn't even touch GP when it's actually creating the reports. And so what we see a lot of, maybe you do daily sales reporting. Well, maybe each night at 2 o'clock in the morning, you refresh your, your uh, data warehouse and then basically are able to jump right in and uh, create, a, uh, uh, create a report uh, the next morning that's completely updated from the previous day. It works very heavily with pivot tables. Uh, there's a design access in GP or in Excel, like I talked about. Uh, you have the ability to drill down on your data, and these reports can also be published to SharePoint. So any of you out in the audience using uh, SharePoint certainly know that this can be done. This is an example of, uh, of uh, Analysis Cube's results. So what I did, uh, and this is a little hard to see, but uh, my pivot table fields are off to the right here. I'm able to pick from any of the fields uh, there are seven predefined cubes that are available. There's sales, there's receivables, there's purchasing, there's payables, there's financial, there's analytical accounting, and there's inventory. And so you pick the cube and then you have a number of predefined records that you can select from to create your report. So what I did is I created a filter so that I can filter this report by year. I uh, created a uh, columns. I wanted to see sales across months. I created rows, and the first, my first uh, row was uh, I wanted to see items by item class, and then underneath that I wanted to see what customers purchased those items. And so I can actually drill down and see all the items within the item class, and I can see the customers that purchased that. And so I can slice and dice my data. I can make changes to the year, to the month, to the items, to the customers, all within this spreadsheet based upon a predefined queue. And so that definitely is, uh, we find that to be a really valuable, a valuable tool to use as well. Uh, I'm not going to demo this one today, but if anyone is interested, I could show them to them, uh, you know, if we wanted to sidebar sometime. 